What's up everyone, Ian Smith here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to create a Facebook page post that has a call to action button at the bottom. It'll look just like a Facebook ad, but you don't necessarily have to run it as a Facebook ad. You can simply post it to your Facebook like page and pin it at the top if you wanted. If you wanted to also run it as an ad, then I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's get started. Okay, so we're here in the business manager, and if you don't have a business manager with your Facebook account yet, go to business.facebook.com, and then go through the processes to get your business manager all set up with your Facebook account. So to create this post, you're gonna to wanna to go to the page post section. So you can click on the top left drop down menu. It's under create and manage page posts. So click on that. That'll bring you to this page, our page looking like this. Create post is where you're gonna to wanna to go. You're gonna have a bunch of different options for the type of post that you can do. Now for this, when you wanna create an actual ad with a call to action button, you're gonna to wanna to go with this link type of setup. So you can click either if you wanna have an image or a video. You can put in the actual URL that you want them to go to when they actually click on the call to action button. Put in your post description text right there. You can adjust the box so that you can have more room in there. Create which button you'd like to go with. You can also opt to have no button. Um, that works with a link type of post, but not so well with a video type post. And what I would always recommend is putting the the URL, you know, this URL is gonna tie to this button, but if you also wanna have a link inside the actual post description, then I would highly recommend doing that as well, saying something like, click here to take the next steps. And then you actually have the link in the actual post text. You have your link headline text, so that's the biggest, boldest text at the very bottom of the ad. Then you have your display link, so you can put in something simpler. If you have this crazy complex URL that you're linking people to, then you can put in a nice little prettier display link right there. And then your description text is gonna be that text that's underneath that big bold headline text. You can also choose to not even have description text if you wanted to. Again, you choose your image or video. I would not recommend importing from website. Just go ahead and upload an image or upload a video. This section right here, um, I've had the most success with just leaving this top part selected. For a while, my friend was selecting this bottom section and it was really just glitching out when it would come time to actually posting to his page or scheduling the post and things like that. So I would always leave this top little radio button selected. So a carousel ad, you know, you can go through and you can create this type of ad. If you're not sure what a carousel ad is, then just do a quick Google search on what that looks like. Photo ad. A photo ad is not gonna have that call to action, that really cool ad looking call to action. This is just gonna give you that post text and not really have that, that headline text at the bottom of the, the link, video status, offer, if you wanted to create some stuff like that. Um, okay, so let's say that you have created your post and now you have, it's gonna show up right here, you have all of these posts right here. Now, how you actually post this to your actual page if you don't wanna actually run it as an ad is you click on this little button right here and then you go to actions and then you can either hit publish now or you can schedule it to publish down the line. Now, we have, I'm not sure if this is a little Facebook glitch or what the reason is behind this, but we've had some issues with scheduling. So just when you schedule your post to be posted down the line, when you have it scheduled, just go in and double check and make sure that it actually posted because sometimes we've scheduled stuff and then it hasn't actually been posted. So me personally, I just like to do the publish now and this will literally, if I hit this button, it would publish instantly to the page. So again, once it publishes to the page, you can pin it to the top of your actual page and always have it there at the top of your page or you can just you know post it and it'll just get that organic reach um, if you want to also run it as an ad let me show you how to do that really quick so this is going to be assuming that you already know how to create an ad so i'm just going to go through this really quick to show you how to select an existing post to run as an ad so you navigate over to the power editor which in the top left menu is under create and manage right above page post power editor i strongly recommend using the power editor over the ads manager it is going to have a little bit of a learning curve so you know take that learning curve go through it but i guarantee it's going to pay off because you can create and launch so many more ad campaigns faster 
with Power Editor versus the Ads Manager. Ads Manager is more for like looking and looking at the data and getting information from that. So we're in the Power Editor. We're just going to create a quick campaign to show you how to actually select an existing post and run it as an ad. So here's your campaign. Then we go into the ad set. You know, select all your targeting and stuff. Here from the ad set, in another video we'll show you how to do all of that stuff. And then on your ads level, now this is where you actually select the use as existing post. So you come here and you have your ad information here. Instead of creating ad, use existing post. Then it will pull all the posts from your page. You select the post and that's pretty much it. You just select the post from your page and that is how you run an existing post as an ad. Now again, you don't have to actually run it as an ad. If you don't want to, you can just organically post it to the page and you will then have a post on your page with the call to action button and it looks just like an ad and it looks really nice. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and tell other people about this, um, this way that they can create these type of ads and I will see you in the next one.